Good night, YouTube. It's 8.43, Wednesday, December 17, 2014. Not to beat a dead horse. I'm just, I'm really trying to figure out what went on here. This is the San Leandro marker in California. As you can see, we've just got the one week average. It was turned off between the 13th to the 16th. But as soon as they turned it back on, it was getting readings of 72, 74, 90, and these are in the, the thousands, by the way. 71,000, 66,000, 63,000. Okay, so it's still reading fairly high, but currently you have a reading of 35 counts per minute. Let me get those inactive ones out of the way. And there's that San Leandro marker number 1B9D4871E.12. And 200,000, you know, that's nothing. It was three times that. I'm just do the one month here. And that occurred on December 9th. 686,657 counts per minute. <coughs> now normally I would say that's just a fluke. Or a solar flare or what have you. But why then are all the markers turned off suddenly? Go ahead and show those inactive stations. Those show up in black and white. San Jose, you were you were lit this morning. I almost clicked on you. The last frozen data I have from your little marker was 162. And I say frozen because we saw how the San Leandro one worked. And yeah, I can't pull up your data. It's gone. So something's going on. I would definitely say something's going on. Why are they covering all these up? Let's see what this one's showing. 23. High of 33. Let's check their one month average just to see if we're missing something here. No? Again, we don't know if that's alpha or beta. Like I've said previously, I, I'm more interested in how do we fix this at this point. Charles Todd, he sent me a really cool link. Um, it was about a belt that the Israelis have that somehow protect your bone marrow. 14 counts in Lahaina. Lahaina. 81 in Honolulu. But uh, that's what they use for emergency workers anyway, can use that to go into a site. Now robots are melting when they try to go in here. I figured we'd show uh, Japan's inactive markers. Again, they're inactive. We'll go ahead and put on the full network. Hmm. Again, I'm not from Japan. I do think it's a bit of a travesty they're still going to have the Olympics there. If they're still around, you know what I'm saying? Let's go back here to Chicagoland, back to my little battle here with Byron. Why were all these markers made inactive?
I can't understand why you wouldn't have markers here. Personally. Unless you were trying to hide something that's going on here. Particularly this marker. Just to see what comes up. Sometimes you do get data. Sometimes you don't. Okay, no data. Show our radioactive sites. Again. Did these guys here at Zion have anything to do with these two markers getting turned to an active? Because I would think you'd want markers there. First off, I would think, why would we have this here, period? But they're there. And until people wake the hell up, they're going to stay there. They'll probably kill all of Lake Michigan first. Hundred eleven Milwaukee. You, you guys have been cool. That's why I haven't really shown you. I'm gonna go over here to my neck of the woods. One sixty-two in Chicago. You're still a hundred counts heavier than us. Let's go to the wind chart. Come back. All right, here's our current wind chart. Again, you can't really see because the word Chicago's here, but this is Cook. DuPage is a little square in here, and here's Kane County. Aurora's on the south end of Kane County. This is DeKalb County. So our marker is here in downtown Aurora. Not quite sure where that marker is in Chicago. Never really investigated it. You can see we're a little bit south of Chicago. Might as well see, where is it? Okay, it's showing on a building in West Harrison Street. Cross Street, South Clark. Block up from South Federal Street. Right there, south of Congress Parkway. So you're, you're just getting toasted. Again, let's back up now that I know where Oak Park is. <laughs> Big as life right here. I worked for four years right here and <laughs> somehow missed the fact that Oak Park is here. But I'll leave my the little cursor on there and just head, whoop, head west and there you go. And you see the winds are dipping down a little bit so Chicago you're lit up. Again, there's your wind chart. We need to fix this. I wanted to make another video about brainstorming. I like those ones better. 233 Champaign, Illinois. Fort Wayne, you're coming in at 145. Again, you used to have a marker here in Muncie. What do you know? 151 in Indianapolis. 156 in Covington, Kentucky. And down here in Lexington, we're looking at 257. Yuck. I'm going to go ahead and throw your data charts on for the last... How far back can I go? This says I can go back four years. Wow. You've had some extremely high spikes out there. 
Where'd my mouse go? October 28th of last year, 2013, you're up at 384. October 18th of 2011, well, I see a pattern right there. 28th, 18th, it's, are these scheduled things that, that are going on here? July 7th, 378. And you can look at these things and you'll see a pattern. It's, it's quite clear when they're doing their little scheduled maintenance things. It's scary. The more I look at these things, the more I, I, I wonder. It really makes me wonder. But anyway, that was your um, data charts for the last four years for Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky. Again, support the website. We're going to shoot down real quick. I'm running out of time. Jacksonville. You're coming in at 155. Orlando, you're coming in at 155. You're both 155? Okay, you're both 155. Tallahassee, you're coming in at 280. You're back on the climb there. Oh, come on, computer. Again. Fort Worth, ugh, threesies. Ha <laughs> ha, Rio Rancho, you used to have a marker. How about that? I accidentally clicked on an inactive one. I got family there too. I have family everywhere. 354 in Albuquerque. Well, that's good to know. You're quite a bit away from this Albuquerque marker. I'm glad about that. Hopefully it's hopefully it's better where you are there. Carlsbad, 180. El Paso, 245. South Valley, you're looking at 351. You're always high. In the valley there. Alright. Phoenix. 284. Tucson. 250. Slide up here to Bakersfield. I know we started out in this area, but... 173 in Bakersfield, California. We're going to go over to Vegas. Why not? Let's see how they're reading out there. Not too bad. 144. That's a nice low for that area. Let's see if I'm missing anything. 23. No. 144. You're the lowest in the country from what I've seen so far. St. George. 184. And Salt Lake City, 289. 289 and feeling fine. Ogden, Utah, 20 counts per minute. Let's go check out Billings. 826. I noticed you guys are on the decline because I had your data ch charts pulled up earlier. You had that high of 987. Now you're falling. Yay! Hopefully I didn't forget to remember anybody. Again, I'm more about how do we fix this stuff. But in the meantime, do what you can do in your little area of the world. Have a good night. Support NETCD.com. <clears throat> Easy for me to say. Support NETC.com. Thank you.